Rachel Briers from the Huntsville area. I'm a senior fellow at the Alabama Policy Institute. <coughs> Today I'm speaking to you as a mother who once faced an unplanned pregnancy. I just graduated college and moved to Virginia for my first job as a TV reporter. My life is filled with hope and anticipation of a successful career. But early one morning, I found myself looking at a pregnancy test. My heart shattered, and I saw the results. The test said someone inside me had started to live, but in a flash, it felt like everything about me had started to die. I was notionally pro-life, but I had not seriously thought about the issue. It was a topic for someone else, someplace else. But now it was me, and the last thing I wanted was to be a mother. Some of the things racing through my mind I was only 22 years old, way too young. I had everything to lose and nothing to gain. Why should one mistake define the rest of my life? I knew the growing baby inside of me was a human being. What else could she possibly be? There were also medical realities, a heartbeat that I heard at my first appointment, fingers and eyes and ears and feet I could see at my second. I wish I could tell women in crisis pregnancies that becoming a mother is pure bliss. But it was the hardest thing I've ever done. As my pregnancy progressed, I fell into what I can only describe as months of depression, anguish, and despair. I left my job, I sleepwalked into a marriage that I feared was another mistake, and I thought I'd never know happiness again. It's hard to speak about how I felt back then, knowing what I know now. My husband and children are my entire world. Anything that was lost is now barely worth mentioning compared to all that I have gained. And today, looking at my beautiful, artistic, strong, unique, nearly 14-year-old daughter, I can barely fathom how she might have been erased from existence if I followed our culture's advice. That culture says that during my pregnancy, even when my daughter was clearly alive, growing, and able to smile, her music, feel pain, and even developed where she could survive outside of me. Her fate depended solely on whether I thought she should live or die. It feels like a nightmarish hoax, and it's time to shake ourselves awake. Members of the committee, it is always better for people to choose what's right on their own. But some actions are so deeply wrong that we must create laws to prevent them. Please pass this bill. To my sisters carrying an unplanned pregnancy, my heart aches for you. Every life, yours and your baby's, is valuable. This may be the hardest thing you ever do, Tom. but it will be the best thing. And you your ever time do. has expired. Thank you.